Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I want to share with you my eyelash extension experience. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts and opinions and my experience with eyelash extensions, and maybe this will help you decide if you should get eyelash extensions or not, then please keep watching. If you would like to see weekly beauty fashion and lifestyle videos, then subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. So first of all, I just want to share with you why I got eyelash extensions. So I've been contemplating to get eyelash extensions for like over a year now. Obviously, as you know, if you're watching this video, eyelash extensions have been really, really popular in the last few years as almost every single person, not, I shouldn't say every single person, but like it's very, very hard to find people who have not tried eyelash extensions nowadays. I mean, I just feel like almost everyone, especially on YouTube, you see a lot, a lot of YouTubers, everyone almost have experienced eyelash extensions. So for me, I decided to get eyelash extensions because I had gone on a weekend trip and I thought it would be the perfect time to try out, you know, eyelash extensions. And the reason I got it also was because when I'm on vacation, I don't really wear as much makeup. I really want to just be able to get up, maybe, you know, put on some brows and a lipstick and I'm ready to go so I really don't want to take a lot of time putting on makeup and I feel like having lashes just gives you that instant like lift and makes you look alert and especially for someone for me I feel like I have smaller eyes so I feel like with the extra volume and lashes it would just instantly make me look lifted and just ready so that is the reason why I got eyelash extensions so a little bit about my experience with the whole procedure of eyelash extension. So I contacted the lash technician. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. You would call them. I contacted the lash technician and I went and saw her at her, what is it, salon. And um, I'm not going to disclose like what's her name or her, her, her salon just, you know, because she did not give me permission. I just feel like I, I felt like she did an awesome job. I felt like she was really nice and courteous and she took her time. So basically what happens is, you know, you choose what kind of style you want of eyelash extensions. You know, typically it's like you want the natural classic or you want volume and, or you want like a cat eye style. For me, I chose a more volume, but I didn't want one that was all one length. So I chose something that was definitely more wispy and something like the short and long lashes into like in all over like all in between like on my lashes so it was not one single length so how the procedure starts is that basically you lay down and they put this little gel underneath your eyes and while you're laying down you must keep your eyes closed um they basically put tape over your eyes kind of just to make sure I from my from my understanding it's basically to make sure that you know there's not as much eye movements to kind of make sure it kind of like, I wouldn't say pulls your skin, but it kind of helps kind of just make your skin stay in place just to make sure that when they're applying the single lashes onto your individual real lashes, like your, it's not getting on your skin. So I think it's to help with less movement. I feel like that with the entire procedure, I was laying down, it was very, very relaxing. I actually took a nap, like I actually fell asleep. I would say the procedure took a good, one hour and a half almost two hours because i feel like with my individual style she told me that my style was definitely something more time consuming once the procedure was over i call it a procedure i should call it a process procedure sounds scary but um once the process was over i was able to sit up and actually look at my eyelashes and once i opened my eyes i feel like my right eye in particular was stinking um, it wasn't stinging a lot. It was very minimal. So I thought, you know, maybe it was just the immediate results of the lash glue or the gel pad that's like underneath the eyes. And I thought, you know what, it's it wasn't probably going to be a big deal and it would probably eventually go away. And then um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to sleep on it. It seems like it's going to be it's going to go away. You know, I do have sensitive skin. The next day when I woke up was the day I was supposed to be leaving for my trip. I woke up and my right eye was incredibly red. Like the most red my eye has ever been my entire life to the point where I felt like as if I had pink eye. And 
it was it was like it felt like it was inflamed or as if I had a cut and I freaked out I really did and I thought you know maybe um the pad under my eyes had gotten my eye or maybe the glue had gotten my eye and you know maybe something had happened that uh, during the entire process and that's what caused it so I immediately like text the technician who had you know did the eyelash extensions and she was like oh that's perfectly normal sometimes that happens um you know just wait a few days and it will eventually go away I feel like I have to do something about it so obviously I went to the store that morning I bought some eye drops and I immediately started putting eye drops in my eye and I noticed that my left eye started getting pink too but not at the rate or as like the severity of my right eye and as soon as the eye drops touched my right eye it burned like it burned as if I had a cut on my eye, like as if my cornea, which is the outermost layer of your eye was cut and it hurt so bad. Like it stung so bad. And I was like, how did I, I get a cut on my eye? Like I didn't feel anything. I know the cornea is a very like thin layer and it's very sensitive and it does also heal by itself, thankfully. But I was like, I did not feel cut. I don't recall ever feeling like, you know, the glue touched my eye or the pad actually physically touched my eye. So I have no idea, you know, how that could have happened. So of course, later on that day when I flew to the destination that I was going to, my eye got worse. I looked like I had pink eye. I looked as if I had allergies and now both of my eyes were inflamed, but my left eye was not stinging it when I put in the eye drops. It just looked a little bit light pink, like as if it was there as an allergy. But my right eye was like incredibly red. It looked as if I had pink eye. Honestly, I was so embarrassed to even be in public because I literally did not want people to think I had pink eye and I would be spreading it because obviously it's contagious. And so I was so embarrassed and I literally, I did not want to wear makeup at all because I didn't want to potentially add anything else that could touch my eye and irritate my eye even more furthermore not only with that but with the like maintenance and cure of eyelash extensions in my personal opinion I feel like it's just too high maintenance for me because I like to apply in foundation concealer and I feel like every time I apply it on makeup it would get on my lashes on top of that it's really hard to clean off like properly in my opinion um I also feel like I cannot Obviously, you can't sleep on your face. It's really hard to really, like if you're like a side sleeper like me, I'm a side sleeper. It's really hard not to sleep on your side and potentially like ruin your lashes. Because if you lean on it, you literally feel like you're poking your eye or you feel like, you know, you're going to ruin your lashes. And for me, I just feel like the care and the maintenance of the eyelashes are just not worth it in my opinion. So I know that this experience is just my personal experience that happened to me. I would still say if it works for your lifestyle, eyelash extensions, if it makes your lifestyle easier, more convenient, and you know, maybe you're a person that you don't have a lot of false lashes, like, you know, the strip lashes, and you're like, you know, I only want to um, eyelash extensions because maybe that is what has been more beneficial for my job. I don't even put on any other makeup other than just eyelash extensions and maybe your brows, then I would say, yeah, go ahead. But I think for me, my personal experience and my lifestyle, it just doesn't make sense. And especially with what happened to me and what happened to me in my eyes, I personally would not put myself through that again. So after these eyelash extensions, fall off I am not going to get eyelash extensions again and I know some of you may say maybe it was the glue or the pad like the gel pad or maybe it was the way the technician had applied the eyelash glue so that's pretty much all I have to share with you today I I'm, I'm still not against eyelash extensions I still feel like they're beautiful and I definitely feel like you know on, like I said on days that I don't wear makeup I definitely feel like it does make a difference it makes me look like I have you know I'm already put together when I literally did nothing but I just feel like I would not be able to go through the like the whole process once again in case you know just in case I was to get that um, outcome again of 
my eyes burning and it's just being bad for like a good four days. Like I know I'm not doing that again. So if you've had eyelash extensions or if you currently do have eyelash extensions, would you recommend it? What was your experience, you know, in comparison to mine? I know my experience is something that probably not, not it doesn't happen a lot because I don't really care that much about it, but I truly do want to share it with you in case you are interested in getting eyelash extensions. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.